the essence of storytelling is vulnerability. That ability to show weakness, to show failure. And it's something that's going to be very effective, I mean very important for, for everybody in a retelling environment to learn how a great story always involves a certain amount of confession. Uh, an ability to step away from the idea of, oh, I was successful, successful, successful. If you start thinking about American storytellers who became extremely successful, Abraham Lincoln, you know, is another one. His campaign knew how to use his failures, the fact that he had lost election after election after election, and that he was just this ordinary guy. Now, he also had a great strength to him, but he could always present himself as a loser. When Bill Clinton ran, uh, you know, in 92, he ran uh, talking about what his loss for the, gov for the uh, governorship of Arkansas had meant to him and what it taught him. And when Richard Nixon came back in 1968, it was in part because Americans loved him that he had lost, not only in 60, but in 62. That when we elect people, you know, uh, Ronald Reagan had lost uh, primary campaign after primary campaign. And when we see people lose in America, we have an immediate attachment. We're excited by them. And, and it's, uh, it's so important to be able to show those losses. If we can tell a story, and for some reason couching our failures in terms of a story makes them sting a little bit less. But if we can tell a story uh, and show our vulnerability, it becomes, uh, um, it, it, it then allows us to start showing our strengths. Now, you all know, for example, I'm just going to bring up a quick example. So the, the difference between the story of Apple and the story of Microsoft. Apple has the Steve Jobs story, which is a story about failure. I mean, it's, it's a story that every, um, everybody almost in the world responds to. This is a man who was completely crushed and who came back. Now, it's also mixed with a great, powerful product, which is really important. And this is a man who really knew how to do some things well. But the fact that he had failed makes his story so much more compelling. And when you compare that to the Bill Gates story, the Bill Gates story is a story of nonstop, sort of boring success. He never really had any failures that he ever cared about. I mean, Microsoft has had failure after failure, but he never cared. He always had billions and billions. And when you think, this, this is really interesting, because there is a great story there somewhere. Right, the story of Microsoft is that, they, is that the company is owned by dying children in Somalia. You know, that, that, that's where all the profits of the company is going to go to. So, so it really is a story that, that just cries out to be told in a new way that doesn't feel like they keep hammering us with success after success after success.